What's up, everybody? Jason here for JaxBeastCaseBreaks.com. 2022 Panini National Treasures Baseball 4 Box Case Break. Random number block number 3 sold out. And, of course, guys, we go by the first number on the left side of the same number dash. But this break's a little different, guys, because Carl just bought all the spots. So it's just going to be a personal case, basically. So we don't have to worry about any numberings. Where do the teams go to? It's all going to one person. Good luck. Here's the magical case that has the 101 babe for you. Let's rock and roll. So again, we did post up another one. So we have two picker teams up. One of them are already in an RMB. The other one is pretty close to selling it on its own. And then we did post up another round of number block break in case you guys like this kind of style per se, although you're not gonna get to see it properly. <laughs> but going by the serial number. Some numbers eight in the last one. Some of them only got a couple hits, but all in all, it's still a fun break to join into. All right, so here we go. All right, we got Mike Soroka to 99. We got a Matt Manning to 99, and then Vladimir Guerrero Jr. to 99. 789 hit those, if that was an RMD. All right, we got 4 of 10. Kurt Ball, Curtis Terry. All right, we got a patch autograph of Framber Valdez for Houston, 10 of 10. We got a Marcel Osuna to 10. We got an RPA there for the Dodgers, 10 of 10. Oh, I need to get one more 180s. Spencer Strider for Atlanta, patch autograph. We got a Maddox Burns or Bruns to ninety nine. And then legendary material signatures, dual stat line, three of ten. A little back-to-back -back MVPs of Frank Thomas, the big hurt. There you go. There you go. First box right there. All right, next box. The booklets do really do look really nice this year, though. I don't think this is gonna fit in my trash can. Just throw them on the ground for now. Alright, we got a three color patch. 
Denelson Lament to 25. It's like a camel patch. We got Terry Francona to 99. You need anything? No, I'm good, man. Take it easy. See ya. Eddie Matthews. How about that? 4 of 25. Milwaukee Braves. It's actually a cool relic to have. Game worn used material. Zach Wheeler. Legacy autographs to 86. Doug, Nick Hazy, 49 of 49. We have a Whit Merrifield. Can't have a break without Whit Merrifield. There's just no way. 2 of 99. Whoa! Man, why can't this be like an O'Neill Cruz or something? Rosny Contreras with the Stars and Stripes RPA 22 of 25 beautiful patch too not, not, not to put down Rosny Contreras but an O'Neal Cruz like that would be sweet 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 patch autograph though We have a Tony Oliva Hall of Fame material signatures to 49. Is he good? Okay, I mean, I don't watch too much Pirates baseball, so. I just feel like in the hobby, when it comes to like this year, you want like O'Neill Cruz more than him. <laughs> Alright, there we go. How about a little Mike Trout? Legendary materials, 5 of 49. Little piece of the bat right there. Can't get any Mike Trout autographs and Panini, but you could get some relics. So, all right, two more to go. Halfway through. We got a treasured stat lines for Pete Alonzo. 33 of 53. 53 home runs. Colin McHugh. McHugh, sorry. To 49. We got a field gear Dylan Carlson to 99. And a Rod Carew to 49. Biography materials. cards at once. Louise Fry is to 99. And a Taylor Trammell to 25. Autograph. Nice Andrew Vaughn. They're uh, 52 out of 99. Little patch autos. We got a Connor Seabold for Boston RPA, 26 out of 49. And we got Carl Yastrzemski. Autograph out of 25. 
Yeah, that acetate on the Andrevon is really nice. Great cards, man, this NT. Dual signature materials to 99. Otto Lopez and Kevin Smith. Looks like the two rookies there on Toronto. Alrighty, man. Last box mojo. Let's feel this one hot. Thick boy. They have this one that had a, had a uh, wrap it sideways. So it's got to be something nice here. Very, very thick. It's an autograph there too, I guess. I guess we'll just leave it. Come on, big, big autograph. All right, Eduardo. Oh, sorry, Edward Oliveras to ninety-nine. Whoa, nice patch there. Drew Ellis, seven of ten. Little jumbo patch. For Seattle. My arm looks like it's already kind of a little bent right there. I don't know if you can see the little crease, but just FYI. We have a Javi Bias. And then we got a Rodolfo Castro. Three color patch and autograph to 49. That's a sweet card. We got... Chasmanian Devil to 99. We have Ezekiel Duran to ninety nine. Reese Kiner to twenty five. Nice RPA. And how about a little Bobby Wood Jr.? There we go. Sixteen out of ninety nine. We'll take that. It's on card as well. And Jim Gilliam, Legendary Materials for Brooklyn, 5 of 5. There you go. Replacing an icon is never easy, but Gilliam did it in style in 1953, taking over at second base for Jackie Robinson, also racked up a league leading 17 triples, finished second with 100 walks, and scored 125 times to capture his league's Rookie of the Year award for the pennant winning squad. There you go. I think there's one more hit down there. It is a Garcia for Miami to 99. Alrighty, man. There you go. So the last box, just like in the last case, had... The bigger rookie. So this one had that little uh, Bobby Witt Jr., which was nice. But all in all, some very nice RPAs, good patches, nice booklets as well. The Frank uh, Frank Thomas one was really nice. Andrew Vaughn. I do love that Stars and Stripes, though. I will say. I'm going to show it again right now. That's actually a very, very cool RPA. There you go, man. Eddie Matthews Relic. There's the uh, Frank Thomas book. So appreciate it, Carl. So again, for anybody else that's interested in RMB potentially like this, uh, next one's in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com.